Hello everybody and welcome to historic Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, Florida. We're kicking off the start of the 2023 season for the Innovative Mazda MX-5 Cup presented by BF Goodrich. I'm John Hindoff and joining me is Shea Adam. Take a deep breath now because it may be the last time you get to have one. Here we go for season 2023. Intermittu Master MX-5 Cup, presented by BF Goodrich Tyres. Money to be awarded at the end of this one. One, two, three, four wide, as Conor Silic does exactly what he needs to do. Unbelievable scrap in the midfield, with two rows of four going through turn one in the evening sunshine. It's Daytona International Speedway and everyone has survived the first couple of corners in this glorious golden light. Zilic away from the front of the field. John Jordan, I think, just holding on to second place. Lots of dust being thrown up at the edge of the International Horseshoe. And that, I th oh, that was, I think, was... Was that Stephen Clements going wide, or was it Matthew Dirks? It might have been Matthew Dirks, actually. I think it was Woody Hyman, actually, oh, right, okay. who was hung out to dry. New livery for Woody. We are going to have to get used to that. He warned me of that yesterday, John. But I'm amazed. We had two rows of five wide, and nobody contacted one another. That has to be a first. So side by side for the lead. Change double wide, lead. double high. Change of lead across the line, but by turn one, a marvellous overtaking manoeuvre on the inside. Max Opolsky has led a lap but only the one lap, Zilic is straight back. Are we going to get double wide through the Imps field as oh. well? Are you kidding me? Apolski, for a moment, back down to fourth position. He led across the line three quarters ago. Yeah, and the problem was his teammate, uh, Tyler Gonzalez, wanted to get to the front. Max Apolski wanted to get to the front. But unfortunately, Connor Zilic and Jared Thomas, Aaron Johnson, Gresham Wagner did not want to allow that to happen. So they were uh, beaten in a majority vote and then sent back further into the pack. Now, Celine Roland is actually getting up alongside Gresham Wagner. Those two have history fighting for championships the last two years in a row. 72 down on the law side. Connor Zilic, Tyler Gonzalez trying to push him forward. Oh, big oh. mistake from the leader. And Jared Thomas had taken the lead and he's now dropped five or six places, outbraked himself into turn one. A very, very uncharacteristic mistake there by last year's champion. Oh, nice move by Johnson, and they've put the 51 of Tyler Gonzalez. They've put him on the clothesline. He is oh. hung out to dry and goes from fourth back to fifth position. I don't like how much this pushing I'm seeing. This is a lot of pushing here, and I wonder if the 24 of Aaron Johnson pulled up to the high side there to get away from that. Remember, there's 25 minutes still to go, and a oh. huge mistake from Max Opalski. He'll do well to get that car back on. Oh, he does. On and off the brakes there to get the front BF Goodrich to bite. Really nice bit of driving, ultimately, from the Kobler Motorsports driver. This is not a region of the track that Max Pelsky is used to being in. His best finish last year was eighth, which he replicated on two occasions. The first of which being here at Daytona International Speedway for the first race of the season. Oh, nice move by Connor Zilic. He goes to the high side. Gonzalez and Wagner follow. Now Sam peely has got to get on that orange boot lead to try and stay with these leading trio, and he hasn't been able to do it. He might get eaten up here. He has Ooh. been eaten up here. Peely lost, what, five places there, six places. Our, our teams right now, John, Hickson leading the way, Copeland in second, Spark in third, MMR in fourth, JTR in fifth and sixth, and then, all of a sudden, we find Sam Paley back again with MMR. It's an interesting mix of cars and teams, and nobody's helping each other except the two JTR cars. And I'm looking further back to see Jean Jotouin, Thomas Annunciata, one of our scholarship shootout winners. He's in ninth position, the top 10, made up by Max Opalski, he's dropped back. Uh, Annunciata, by the way, also the best of the rookies, having got ahead, picked his way through, it's been a very sensible race by Annunziata. At the front of the field then, Conor Zilic is ahead of the 51, the black car is in second, that is Tyler Gonzalez, then a little gap. What, two, three, four cars lengths now, back to Aaron Johnson, in. that is a dark blue car in third. 
in fourth is Gresham Wagner and Jared Thomas in the red car with the yellow roll hoop. That's the fifth place machine. And they're getting a great run together. And oh, huge sideways moment for Johnson. Now, can he get it slowed down? He might take the lead here. He's side by side with Zilic. Zilic is Ooh. on the grass, almost on the white paint of the Le Mans logo through the Le Mans chicane. Johnson with a huge push from Wagner and Thomas, who's trying to get up onto the uh, onto the back of the leaders and hasn't been able to do that. But what a piece of car control from Aaron Johnson as he had to get the car stopped somehow. Brilliant driving as well by Connor Zilic to give him room on the inside. And somehow there was no contact through the chicane. Marvellous stuff from all the drivers. And the three guys who were completely out of control with their cars somehow wound up in this lead pack as Johnson's rear was stepping out all over the place. He finally got it slowed down, and then Zilich goes through and thinks, oh, I'm safe. Oh, nope, too much curb on the inside with the right rear. He's sideways coming out of there, too. Aggression Wagner made up a position or two as well as the black car of Tyler Hanna, uh, Gonzalez decided, I think discretion was the better part of Valor, Valor at that point. He didn't want to get caught up with anybody else's uh, battle. He's dropped back a couple of places. Zilic from pole position has led the most laps to this point, and I don't think Will anybody... Will not be but, beat. No, I do not think he can be overhauled. Their second group getting a bit feisty as well. They need to stop fighting. If they could just get in behind each other, and let Celine Roland pull them to the leaders. We could have a 12, 11 or 12 car battle for the lead. Bruno Smolewski, the rookie in the number 85, he's going really well in his first series in the big show shit. Yeah, he is. He's made a couple of starts last year, but this is a full season effort for Bruno coming in from Brazilian karting, but he's also done some endurance racing. So for that young man, this is a big stage. He's performing very well. Two, two by two, and once again, we see, we've seen this a lot. Look at the door mirrors on Jared Thomas. <laughs> Not actually looking behind him on the right-hand side there. You can see the bright uh, yellow cover on the door mirror. It's, it's pointing skywards, so he can't see anything. Neither can Aaron Johnson. Can't quite reach over and push it back from the driver's seat because you saw well strapped in. If it's on the driver's side, the left-hand side, it's fine. You can stick your hand through the net and knock it back out again. The lights beginning to take effect around Daytona. The headlights on the cars are on, and the top group is still together. One, two, three, four, five cars across the stripe on the tri-oval with still eight minutes to go here. That's four, maybe five laps. But here comes the second group. We are going to get that 10 car, 11 car oh, train gosh. right out in the middle of the road for Thomas Annunziata, one of the rookies. The rookies are not overawed by what's going on, and a spin oh, for Alex number 33. Bashura. Bashura had been gently working his way through. We've seen Alex fight his way through the field. A very good racer. Just needs to qualify a little better. Now, that was down at uh, turn one. Needs to get that car restarted. We're staying green at the moment with seven and a half minutes to go. And that is the 24 of Aaron Johnson dropping back to the back of this pack. He doesn't want to be up at the front right now while they're jostling. Oh, he comes from a long way back around the outside in the bright, shiny red car, right up alongside the rookie leader, 85 of Bruno Smolewski. Where did he come from? Smolewski's Sm worked his way. He was at the front of the second group. He worked his way to the front of that group. And as soon as he got latched onto the lead group, he made up a two or three place, places, and he's now battling for a finish. White flag next time by is the call from race control. Jared Beto. Thomas, we know his car's really good. It is. In, in the draft, there goes the rookie leader. Bruno goes to the high side. Smolewski is challenging for the lead. He might get a push here. Two sets of 
three and four cars, and he's leading. The rookie leads into the last lap. He's heating up. His front discs get hugely sideways. If he pulls this one off, it's an absolute corker. Smashing manoeuvre by Smolevsky to take the lead as we go on to the last lap. But who's in second? Sam Paley. And who needs to win this race and tomorrow's race to continue going in the season? Sam Paley. He's going to do whatever it takes to try and get to the checkered flag first. That would give him $12,000 if he won both of the races this weekend and Sam at the moment has only got the budget for this weekend. Aaron John is alongside as they go down to the West Horseshoe. These guys battling, letting Smolenevsky get away. This could be an awesome debut, a full season debut for the Brazilian. None of the top three have ever won a race in this championship. <laughs> the four behind them know very well how to get it done. We, we had a ser two series champions on the grass there. Tyler Gonzalez gets a good run onto the banking in fourth position. This is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Smolevsky is caught. Now the top three are together. Do you make the move now and try and hold no. on to the line? Where, where's Jared Thomas? Jared Thomas went across the line in eighth position. He's not quite with the leaders as yet. Here's Gonzalez working with Zilich. They're trying to pass everyone going into the Lamont. Chicane can't get it done. That's helped the leader. The Brazilian flag car in the lead. Here's Gonzalez, goes to the outside really early. He's with Pele. He pushed Pele now towards the leader. Pele goes to the low side. Oh, a little bit of inexperience there by Smolevsky. Should have been down on the yellow lines and made yep. them go off the top. Now he needs to drop in to the back of Zilic, which he does. But look at the cars coming behind. Here's Johnson being pushed by Gresham Wagner. Coming through. I think it's too late. I think it's too late. It's going to be Pele. I Pele think it's to the Sam Pele. Sam Paley, here's Gonzalez. Nope. It's going to be a dead heat. Gonzalez goes to the line. Was it Gonzalez? It was, was Gonzalez. it Zilic? It was Gonzalez. Zilic comes through to second. And in third, Aaron Johnson. Gresham Wagner in fourth. Amazing run to the line. That's Sam extraordinary stuff. Sam Paley in third, John. Sam Paley was scored in third. Oh. Aaron Johnson fourth. Gresham Wagner fifth. Bruno Smoleski in sixth. The, the lead two is where some of the battle is. Wagner goes below the two yellow lines to try and make through. Look at how tight the top three are. There's not half a MX5 between the top three. What a thrilling and historic finish at Daytona. Just 0 0.015 of a second separating the winner, Tyler Gonzalez, and the runner-up, Connor Zilic. That's a tie for the fourth closest finish in series history. Let's hear from Gonzalez now. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Towards the end, that second pack caught up, and I knew it was a dogfight. Uh, just have a little bit of experience here, put myself in the right position, and came out on top. Copa Motorsports does an amazing job with the setup. Uh, I'd just like to thank my crew, my family, my mechanic, Ricky, Dean, and God, and Mazda. And not only does Gonzalez receive the trophy, he walks away with $6,000 thanks to Mazda's new race payout. Here's how the points look after the Daytona weekend. Tyler Gonzalez leading with 670 points. Jared Thomas and Gresham Wagner sit tied in second, 100 points behind. Aaron Johnson in fourth, rounding out the top five. In the standings, 150 points back is Celine Roland. Rounds three and four for the MX-5 Cup drivers will take place on the streets of St. Petersburg on March the 4th. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of the International Motorsports Association. We would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.